We're now joined by Matapelo Siwisa, who's an Economic Freedom Fighters Member of Parliament and uh, sits on the Portfolio Committee on Public Works and Infrastructure. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. Welcome to the programme. Um, this expropriation bill, this is the third attempt since 2008 to try and replace apartheid-era policies. Um, and it doesn't seem as if people are happy with this one. The ANC says it's progressive. You don't agree. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir, for inviting me. Let me greet our President mm. CIC in absentia in all ground forces. Yes, there's, there's nothing progressive about this, so this, this bill because if you can listen to the declaration or the statement that was made by the ANC to say, we are trying to make this legally. What is legal about what they are doing? Because the land was taken illegally. People were evacuated illegally, had fully in conditions, and they were sent to stay on land that is not productive for them. So what is, it, what is legal about returning land to people and giving them money for land, because if you look at the at the bill itself, it says that one in one of the clauses it says how the land or how the property was acquired, and we all know how the property was acquired. We all know that our people were forcefully removed from their lands and be sent to mountains where they can't plant, they can't have animals, they can't farm, they can't have their cattle with them. So what is legal? It I I. I as the EFF, we see that statement being irresp an irresponsible utterance from the ANC itself. There's nothing legal about this bill. It's only showing that the ANC doesn't care about the people of South Africa and they don't care about their emotions. Is the bill not constrained in some ways by the Constitution? And that maybe that's the place to start. If you can remember, when the EFF came into parliament in 2014, one of our first motions that we put in was the amendment of section 25. As the EFF, our first cardinal pillar says, distribution of land, for this, the expropriation of land for equal distribution for the benefit of all South Africans. We put in that motion immediately when we put in the motion and we're busy to prepare for public hearings. The public works came up with this expropriation bill. And then they are saying that it's trying to repeal an act of 1975. Why couldn't they just wait for the amendment of Section 25? After that, we see what is the outcome of the Section 25, and then we can come up with the expropriation bill. But that's what they did because they want they want to promote certain people and most of those people are the minority, which are the white people that are in South Africa that have taken the land illegally so. And then today they speak about doing the legal thing because our people have been suffering without land. I can make a typical example. We are in oversight in 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 Swane or at the telecom towers. And one of the reasons, one of the questions that we raised as a committee is that, that the money that is paid for rental and the, the acting DG said, the money that the, the rates says 34 rents per square meter. And then you get to a white farm that a land owned by a white farmer whereby they would ask for around 600 rents for them to rent a particular land. So how are we going to be able to give our people what they need, which is the land for them to be able to, to have a living? Some of the things that were raised, especially by the DA, when we were having public hearings is that there is going to to, to affect the, the the food security what for what food security because even that food security that they are talking about you find that the black people are working that land black people are the ones that are planting black people are the ones that are looking after their cattle so it simply tells you that black people can farm black people will be able to give us the food security that we are looking for so those are some of the things that were raised to say food security and investors are going to go. And now they want this expropriation bill. Yes, they will come up to say that a certain clause has been brought in at, 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 at the back door 
But us as an EFF, we are saying that no land or no property is going to be expropriated. And a certain person who knows that they acquired the land illegally so they have to be paid. How do you take somebody's car and then you expect for you to be paid for you to return the car to that certain particular person? It, it can't happen. All right. If you had carte blanche to write this expropriation bill yourself as the EFF, what would be the key um, legislation uh, that goes with it? What, what would it look like? The key point of the EFF says expropriation of land without compensation for equal distribution for all South Africans living in South Africa and living outside of South Africa. Because some of these people that are living outside of South Africa, that are living internationally, some of their great-great-grandfathers have been robbed of land. They ended up not having anything. The, 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 the problem with this bill is they are saying that people must be paid. Whether they say that's possible or not possible, but the issue that says people must be paid, that's where the issue lies. And after that, there's nothing you can do because if you go down with the bill, it speaks about all the conditions of payment. If you're not satisfied about being paid, you must go to court and you must do all of those things. But at the end of the day, the people that are supposed to benefit from the land are not going to benefit, which is the majority of black people that are in South Africa. We all know that in the past, before white settlers can come to South Africa, actually, how did we live? We lived by our land. How did we survive? We survived by farming. We survived by a, 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 a cattle farming. We did exchange of vegetables. You give me vegetables, I give you a sheep. You give me a sheep, I give you a chicken. That's how we used to live. We know how to work the land. And I think most of the time is that People think that if the EFF says that the land must be, that the, the state must be the custodian, we know exactly what we are talking about because we already have plans to say if the state is going to, we are going to give them a proper plan as to say what needs to happen to the land. One of the things that I can tell you is that if a person is given land and the person says, I require land because I want to plant tomatoes. And after a certain period of time, we find that the person is not actually doing what they are supposed to be doing. We need to bring in somebody else. In that manner, the food security is being, is being, is being looked after. We don't have a problem. Because when you talk about investors, I'm going to go back again to the inputs of, of, of the DA to say investors are going to go. Are, are we talking about people who've got millions because us as South Africans, we can be investors. As I'm sitting here, I can be an investor. If we come together as South Africans, we can be investors in our own country, with a little that we are going to contribute. If other countries can do it, why can't South Africa do the same? So as EFF, we are still maintaining that a legislation must come up. That expropriation bill must be put aside. It must be put aside because it's not going to benefit anyone. Because if a person doesn't want to let go of their land, then there must be negotiations. We are going to sit down. You have to pay this person. And already, as the acting DJ has said, people do not want to maintain the market value that is there. They want to give their own values that they think are, are OK. And that money is the one that we've got a lot of small scale farmers in South Africa that need that money for them to, to be able to go forward. But the government is not saying anything. The ANC is not saying anything about those people. But rather they are willing to pay people who have stolen the land with money. Already South Africa doesn't have money. They want to pay them money that is not there instead All of right. assisting South Africa's economy to go forward.
Ms. Masi, well, we're going to have to leave that there. Thank you so much uh, for joining us and uh, giving us uh, the EFF's uh, point of view on this expropriation bill. Thanks for your time this evening. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, so a number of parties not happy with this land expropriation bill. Uh, the ANC says it's progressive, but uh, many of the opposition parties disagree for very different reasons.